Okay, now we're going to look at the vector equation of a line, the equation that gives us the position at a point in time. So in this equation, r equals r0 plus vt. So r is the position. So r is the position. r0 is the initial position. v is a velocity and t is time so the position is initial position plus velocity times time so r equals r0 plus vt so here's a question a particle starts at 3i plus 2j so 3i plus 2j is our initial position it moves at constant velocity so that's v 2i plus 3j and we need to find the position vector after five seconds so t is five so the position r is given by r0 plus vt so five times the velocity we expand the bracket which gives us 10i plus 15j so we've got 13i now so it started at 3i it's moved 10i so now it's at 13i and the j's it started at 2j it's moved 15 so we're now at 17 so the position is 13i plus 17j here's another similar question if you want to pause the video and give it a go you can otherwise just keep watching so we've got initial so r0 as 6i plus 4j v is i minus 2j and we need to know where it is after four seconds so r is equal to r0 so the starting point plus vt so four lots of the velocity i minus 2j so if we expand we get 4i minus 8j and we just collect the like terms so that gives us 6i plus 4i is 10i and 4j minus 8j is minus 4j so the position after four seconds is 10i minus 4j here we've got a question where we're going to use the vector equation of a line. So we're going to use r equals r0 plus vt. So we've got two boats. We've got boat A, which is at a position 8i plus 22j, moving at a constant velocity of 2i minus 2j meters per second. And we've got boat B, which is at i plus j initially and is moving at a velocity of 3i plus j meters per second so we've got two different particles two different boats in this case and we're going to have to show that they collide and we're going to have to find out where they collide so we're going to put our information into the equation for both boats so for boat a So boat A is position we'll call RA, and that is R0, so initial, which is 8i plus 22j, plus VT, so time times the velocity, which is 2i minus 2j. For boat B, we'll call its position RB. And that will be given by its initial position, which was i plus j, plus vt, so time times boat b's velocity, which is 3i plus j. So we've got the position of a is given by this, and the position of b is given by this. What we're going to do is we're going to separate out 
I's and J's. So two T I. So we expand the bracket, multiplying by T for both of them, plus three T I plus T J. And now we're going to split out the I's and J's. So for I, we've got eight plus two T. And for J here, we've got 22 minus 2T, J. And the same for both B. So for I's, we've got 1 plus 3T. And for J's, we've got 1 plus T. So we can say that the boats are going to collide if the I's and the J's are in the same place at the same time. So we're going to now split out the I's and the J's. So we're going to say if these I's equal these I's at the same time as these J's equal these J's, then they collide. So if 8 plus 2t 8 plus 2t for A and 1 plus 3t for B. So what time are they equal? So subtract 2t from both sides and subtract 1 from both sides. So the i's are the same when t is 7. How about the j's? So 22 minus 2t equals 1 plus t. So add 2t to both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides, divide by 3, and the j's are both the same also when t is 7. So they collide when t is 7. What is the position when t is 7? So we could use either a or b to find the position. So if we look at just one of them, so if we look at A, so the position is 8 plus 2 sevens, I plus 22 minus 2 sevens, J. So 22 I and 8 J. And we could have put that into um, B as well, and it should have given us the same answer. So they collide when T is 7, and so the position of P is 22I plus 8J. Okay, here's another similar question. So pause the video, give it a go, and see if you can find out where A and B collide. So we've got r equals r0 plus vt. So we're going to do the position of a and the position of b separately. So for both a, its position is its initial position, which is 5i minus 4j, plus vt, which is t times its velocity, which is 4i minus j. For b, its initial position is 15i minus 24j and its velocity is 2i plus 3j. So we've got the position of A and the position of B. We're going to split the i's and j's up. So if we expand the bracket, we get for ti minus tj and for b again we expand the bracket which gives us 2ti plus 3tj now we'll split the i's up and split 
the J's up. So for I, we've got 5 plus 4T. And for J, I'll keep it as a plus. So for J, we've got minus 4 minus T. J. For B, we've got 15 plus 2T I's. And we've got minus 24 plus 3t j's so they will collide if the i's and the j's are the same at the same time so where are the i's the same so that's when 5 plus 4t is equal to 15 plus 2t so if we subtract 2t from both sides Subtract 5 from both sides and divide by 2. We find out the i's are the same when t is 5. How about the j's? So minus 4 minus t equals minus 24 plus 3t. So we'll plus 1, plus 1 t to both sides, plus t to both sides, plus 24 to both sides, and divide by 4. So the i's are the same and the j's are the same when t equals 5, therefore they collide. What is the position? So when t is 5, when t is 5, what is the position? So the position is 5 plus 4 fives, i plus minus 4 minus 5, j which is 25i minus 9j.